History Spotlight, brought to you by HEC Media and the Missouri Historical Society. Hello, I'm Dr. Jody Sowell, president of the Missouri Historical Society in St. Louis. The Wendell Pruitt Homes and William Igo Apartments were designed as a cutting edge housing project. Public historian Cecily Hunter explains the impact they had on residents and the rent strike that ensued in 1969. Pruitt Igo were 33 high rise buildings. It was developed as a new design model that was supposed to address public housing in St. Louis. It was also designed to marry racial relations, joining both black and white community members together. Pruitt Igo would open its doors in 1954. And in 1969, residents would join forces with other public housing tenants to address inadequate living conditions. So Darce Webb, Clinton, Peabody, Car Square, Vaughn, and others as well. They kicked off the rent strike, which lasted about nine months. Essentially, they were addressing many different issues that was causing the community anxiety around not getting their needs met from maintenance. For Pruitt Igo in particular, there were different things like the trash incinerators were not working. The running water was causing issues, whether it was cold or too hot. The elevator would often not work, as well as mounting rent hikes. And so they were constantly contributing money to being able to stay in these facilities that were not necessarily meeting their needs. So many of the tenants pooled their money together, actually drawing those funds that they were initially contributing to the St. Louis Housing Authority and saying that we're going to withhold our rent money. And so they nearly bankrupt the St. Louis Public Housing Authority because of withholding that money. And so ultimately that nine month stretch, they would receive some of the things that they fought for. So they wanted to make sure that 20% of their income would go to their housing, but nothing more. They also wanted to make sure that their maintenance items that were not necessarily being taken care of were taken care of. Police protection was another thing that they also advocated for, among other things. One important thing with this rent strike is that it's through this national recognition that even some of the politicians were actually beginning to think about ways to address the issues that many face throughout the country. And so Edward Brooke actually contacted Jean King, who was one of many key organizers here in St. Louis, and essentially created legislation called the Brooks Amendment to the Public Housing Act of 1969. And that essentially set forth a plan moving forward to help address some of those inequalities, though we know that these things still continue to be an issue today. Next on History Spotlight, how the Hill neighborhood played a large role in the appearance of St. Louis. To learn more about the Missouri Historical Society, visit mohistory.org.